When I temporarily stepped back from my business in October of 2021, I had no idea that I was actually starting a two year maternity leave. When I started my business, I wanted something that was going to be flexible for when we had kids and that's exactly what I've created. In this video today, I'm gonna to be showing you exactly how I did it and what I would have done differently to save even more time and maximize revenue. Number one, if you have an online business, you have got to get on YouTube. Period. Here's why all other social media platforms are basically a joke when it comes to marketing. Search. Before I was on YouTube, I did in-person marketing and then all of my online marketing was through my email list, Instagram, and Facebook. And after about three years, I was completely burnt out. Back then, the algorithms weren't so restricted and it really wasn't that hard to reach new people, but the most frustrating part about it was that anything that I made, any content I made, was so temporary. I was on this seriously never-ending hamster wheel of creating content five to seven days a week so that I could stay in the main feed. And if you do that long enough, you're just repeating yourself and that's really what kills creativity. In 2020, I started YouTube. I got monetized in seven months. I phased out all other social media and my business exploded. All of a sudden, I could talk about something once and then someone could find it years later and immediately get up to speed on what I do, who I help and what my philosophy is. And it's all on autopilot. While I was on my two year break and I didn't even touch YouTube, I gained 2,700 subscribers. My videos that I had posted got over 140 thousand views. My affiliate sales stayed pretty consistent and I turned my programs into self-paced. So I removed myself completely, put them at a steep discount and I made over $53,000 in revenue that way. Plus I had YouTube AdSense going. It was crazy. Like everything was running and thriving. Honestly, it was insane. If I wouldn't have had YouTube, when I stopped creating content, my business would have died and it would have been so much harder to get things back up and running when I was ready to restart. And here's the best part for you guys. I am not a YouTube expert. I've never had a video gone viral. I don't have any special advantage. I've never gotten this like big lucky one-off break. I'm really not doing anything that you couldn't be doing right now. I'll show you guys a picture of my current setup. It is nothing fancy. It's all just kind of duct taped together still. And I record and edit during my daughter's naps during the day. I started in 2020, so I wasn't even this crazy early adopter to YouTube. If anything, I joined the game kind of late. So it's definitely not too late for you. If you're feeling burnt out from TikTok, Instagram, whatever, come to YouTube where your content works for you while you sleep years after you post it, which is not happening on any other social media platform. I guarantee it. This is also a reason why I'm not doing paid ads right now. If I depended on paid ads, then as soon as I stopped doing those, my revenue would dry up. Organic growth in authentic, informative videos is what kept my business up and running for two years while I didn't even have to think about my business. Did you know that only 23% of the people watching this video right now are subscribed to my channel? It really helps me out when you take the time to subscribe and hit the like button on this video. Thank you so much for subscribing and continuing to support me as I create content. The second big thing that I had in place in order to step away from my business for two years was my obsession with automation. Seriously, everything from my lead magnets to my welcome emails to my onboarding process, all of it is automated within Kajabi and I do a full review of Kajabi here. If you are a course creator or you sell products or really sell anything and you are manually entering in information, you have got to automate within Kajabi. Before I took advantage of the automations within Kajabi, I was manually entering in data and I had no successful funnels that actually converted in revenue. Now, when someone finds me, they can go through my entire sales process from start to finish without me having to be involved. And this is the process that I teach in my program, Become a Coach. Because as a coach, I want to be coaching. I want to be teaching. I don't want to be troubleshooting and doing admin and writing emails. Once I converted to Kajabi and automated everything, it freed up so much of my time. And ultimately that's what allowed me to take a step back for two years while the processes still ran. This also frees up time for my coaches within Become a Coach and my clients. If I'm not doing admin work all day, it's a lot easier to 
to answer questions and make sure that their concerns are heard and addressed very quickly. Here's the basic outline of my funnel applied to the different services. Everything starts with a lead magnet on the opt-in page. Then they get an email with a download or link depending on what the lead magnet is. And then they get an email sequence answering questions and sharing my story. Then they have the opportunity to purchase. After they purchase, they are then onboarded and have access to the program. If you wanna go through this funnel and really see what I'm talking about, you can click the link below to go to my free pricing workshop for financial coaches. I don't do lame freebies. I give you over 60 minutes of value within this free pricing workshop and you can watch it right now. The next thing I did in order to step away from the business for two years was streamlining my YouTube process and getting months ahead. When I first started YouTube, it would take me hours, hours to record a 15 to 20 minute video Video, and then it would take me hours to edit it. And then honestly, they still didn't look that good most of the time. What is up everyone? Welcome to my brand new YouTube channel, Financial Coach Jess. Now I record three to four videos at a time in about one to two hours. And that includes all the time it takes to set everything up and tear down afterward. And I can get several months ahead this way. And that's exactly what I did before I stepped away in 2021. I think I had somewhere around eight videos stockpiled whenever I stepped away. And so I slowly dripped those out over the next several months. And that made my absence actually seem much shorter to my subscribers. It's pretty wild that I'm recording once a month where I used to have to be on Instagram every single day and my top performing videos make over a thousand dollars each where an average performing video makes several hundred dollars just in AdSense alone. Instagram was fun years ago, but comparatively, it's just a waste of time now in terms of business ROI. Also, if you're interested in learning how I'm using AI to streamline my YouTube process and get more engagement on my channel, check out this video here. Do you agree that social media marketing is dead? What's holding you back from starting your own YouTube channel.